Hi there, my name is Mary and I'm your fashionist sister. What's shaking you guys? Okay, so check it out. This is the Street Style 7 episode 4. Like we are thrown down these days. Okay, did you catch my last episode? It was all about men's style. Cool rockers, hip hoppers, really cool. Definitely check it out. Alright, so this is episode 4 and I got 7 wicked outfits ready to go. So uh, thanks for subbing, thanks for being you, thanks for being here, thanks for commenting because I know you will. Thanks for subbing and thanks for telling all your friends. I must totally grateful. All right, much love you guys. Let's get right down to it. So check it out. This first one, she is a modern day, but retro holly hobby kind of girl. But instead of doing the like close sort of hat, she's doing this really like cute straw, big brimmed hat. And look at that dress. So cute, right? Like just eclectic and fun. Oh, and I like her little dream catcher necklace. And then she's got the stomping boots. But fresh, they keep it a little edgy and a little bit like, I'm a cute girl wearing my boots. And that's cool, man. Number two, we got an Aquarius princess. This girl is super boho. She's rocking the feathers. I mean, a lot of girls love the feather earrings. Rock on, keep it real, I'm down. This girl, come on, check out her shoes, man. Those little booties are like, they've got all sorts of rad happening in them. If you're gonna get moccasins, those are the kind of moccasins you get, right? Just saying. And then, um, like her wicked stack of bracelets, it's super fun. She does the mullet dress, but it's done in a nice sheath white style, and it's kind of sheer, and she's got her bathing suit underneath it. But this girl rocks it out, and then the big afro, the whole thing just works. And it's almost more edgy than boho princess, and that's the cool thing about this chick. Okay, so the next girl, my number three, is Dominique. She's a designer, English girl, really cool. Uh, she does a collection of hats called a Hive Mind Millinery. Super cool girl. Really fun little dress she's got here. I love the way she plays with pattern on pattern. And then I love the different colors in her um, color scheme. What a fun little dress. And then check out her hat. Like what a great way to um, play with the color. And, and then she just does a little simple bee necklace right in the middle there. Just to sort of show her trademark and what she's all about. Rock on Dominique. You've got a really cute look here. Okay cool. So this next gal number four. She has got this great dress from Spain. She was just a cool eclectic girl. She was a photographer at one of the shows I was doing in Edmonton. And I love the way her she played with turquoise in her accessories. And this is a beautiful dress. It's playful and fun and you can't beat a pattern like that. So invest in frocks. Invest in many frocks. You know, one of the things I did for a while was everywhere I traveled, I went and got a dress from that place. And I thought that was a pretty cool collection of dresses. Now this is a retro look I really dig. So this is my girl Ashley. She does PR. She's just a really cool chick. She's got this kind of you know, 50s blunt cut uh, bang happening. And she's just charming. She's wearing sneakers with a dress. One of my favorites. I love doing it. Um, it's got to be done well because it can't always work. But uh, a lot of times it does. So it's you know, kind of fun to play with that. Love the dress. The pattern. The leopard print on the top. And then the floral print underneath. What a great way to uh, find a marriage in that and then just little pops of black here and there just to sort of tone down the uh, pattern on pattern and then she's got the nice hardware bag as well which it's really you know you gotta have a nice bag now this is my girl Julie Julie kicks she's just so rad she does a collection called Superfly lullabies so what I love about this outfit is obviously her jumpsuit it's so cute she's done it up and I kick her boots again I always say I can't say it enough you gotta have a great pair of boots she has got this wicked um, jewelry from a line called Paulette she does all these images and resin and great little subtle um, stories being told and just sort of visual interest for the, the person that's talking to you to sort of get a, a sense of who you are and the sort of character that you are. So I love mysterious accessories like that with stories. Like that's why I love this necklace because it's got so much story happening. Okay, Brad, and she just had this cute orange dress on. It was just worth a photo. I mean, it's so easy just throw on a blue denim jacket with any sort of frock and you're good to go. Great little crop jacket. She cinches it at the waist. Her sandals are just really nice. They're a nice shape. The leopard print. Come on. So cute. And then I like the necklace. Okay. It's probably on the more inexpensive side of things, but love. Come on. So cute. I just thought, you know, you should see this girl. So this last outfit, it's me. I had just a really fun outfit on today. I got lots of compliments. There's a lot of little personality sort of kicks here. Okay. So I got this shirt yesterday. It's by a designer called Love Squared 
absolutely gorgeous. Now I did cut a little slit in here just to sort of have a little bit more room because I don't like it, uh, you know, being too tight to my neck. So I always do little adjustments here and there and then finish it up. It looks great. So these new earrings, how much fun are they? Like just so charming. You'll definitely see them on clutchjewels.com soon. And uh, this is a one of a kind statement piece that I just love. I made it up. I was like, oh yeah, sure. I'll just sell it. But, um, sorry dudes. I fall in love with absolutely everything I make and I can't sell everything. That's all there is to it. My goodness, man, I got the best compliment today. It was so rad. So check this out. I was at uh, the Granville Street Market today. Really killer, de right downtown in the heart of the city with my company, Clutch Jewels. And I had a cool guy come up to me and he goes, this old dude, and he goes, you know, you look like, you look like one of those porcelain sort of, uh, you know, carved girls, you know, side profile girls. And I was like, what do you mean? Like a cameo? And he goes, yeah. And I was like, oh my God, are you kidding me? Look at this cameo. That's what he thought that I looked like because of this hair. I was so blown away. It was amazing. Like what a sweet, sweet guy. He wasn't hitting on me. He was just like so blown away. He was like, oh my gosh, nobody does that anymore. I, I was pretty touched. So talk about a good compliment, hey? Rad. And all I did was take this stretch uh, elastic bow headband and I just took my wet hair last night and I just wrapped it around and wrapped it around and I just left it there. and I just kind of put in a few soft curls in there and I got compliments on my hair all day so that was nice anyways and then of course my rings I love my wedding ring such a nice one and then I always have the arm party going on because you gotta have a nice arm party and uh, yeah this is the Nola bracelets and these are the Luca bracelets they're on clutchjewels.com you can buy them right now right now so go for it. My shoes are pretty kick-ass. They're by a designer called Joseph Siebel. I love them. They're the most beautiful sole you'll ever put your foot in. That's my outfit all in all. And you know, it's just a rad one. And again, that cameo compliment, pretty awesome. So it's worth trying things out with your and seeing if it works, you know, because it could work and it could be gorgeous. A lot of compliments, it was worth it. And it was fun playing around. So, and you can't go wrong with a floppy bow. Think about throwing some accessories on and just having fun with it and just pile it on, take a few off after if it's too much, but pile it on, see if it works, and then boom. You know, who knows? You could come up with the best outfit ever that day. Okay, so do me a favor, will ya? And sub, baby. Tell all your friends and just be my buddy, man. I am a good friend out here in Cyber World and I will be your buddy. So, much love, you guys. We'll see you for episode five. My name is Mary and I'm your fashionista sister. Oh, and if you want to be a zombie, this is how you do it. Hot mama, hey? Hello, zombie girl. <laughs>